Here, I can go live. You're not, like, missing anything. This gentleman here just takes forever to form up a PV raid. That said, I have absolutely no idea what he's doing behind the scenes. Maybe he's got, you know, like, seven different whispers going. You are missing out. There's a spot. This could be you. You could be... Hang on, eye tracker. You could be right there. <laughs> I think it's mostly calibrated. It might be a little off. The problem is that I, I change slightly where I'm sitting. Here, well... I can't. I don't want to say that like that's a you problem, but I do want to imply it. You could simply not work, like Kim Kardashian said. Remember when she gave that aspirational advice, or you know, suggested that nobody wants to work anymore, or whatever. I don't know. I don't spend enough time on X to know what's going on in pop culture. There is now... Oh my god. <laughs> so, look, it's not my static. I don't run PvE events because they're annoying. Fuka spent the afternoon setting up an escort skip for Wing 3. And then people got mad because now they can't practice the escort. So now we are getting rid of his static and then we're just going to do it from scratch. I haven't done wing 3. I haven't done anything. I'm going in. I'm entering. I have entered. We did escort, but people want to practice towers, so now we're not using escort. We're not using, like, the completed escort that Fuka saved. Oh no, the bridge! I need to find a way to reach that lever. What would that lever? If Escort wasn't a wing 3, would be your favorite wing? I think my favorite wing would probably be the wing that, um... You know, like, the, the Dragon Bash arena? Where you just, like, you know, fight mob waves and then a big boss hologram? They should do that for every raid. Where you just fight trash for, like, 45 seconds and then the boss spawns and you fight it. That would be sick. I would greatly enjoy that instantiation of raids. <laughs> I don't need this plot. I don't need this escort. I don't need, like, all oh, the lore. You guys aren't going to believe what happened to Saul the Alessio. He's been here the whole time. Just, like, give me the boss. Let me get my ally, and then let me stop playing the game. Until next week. So I think 4 is your favorite? I feel that. Wing 1 is also, like, not bad. It's not great. Like, I would really love to get rid of uh, the, the like, circle defense phase. Because that takes as long as the other three bosses combined. But, like, before that, it was pretty quick. We're now trying to figure out who does wargs. What is your least favorite? I don't know about all that. I mean, you're right. But the trash before Anomaly isn't, like, really trash. Because you can just, like, solo it. So 
the wargs look up and kill them? I don't... Well, I guess I could, like... Where's Bane Signet? Bane Signet does not do what I thought. I'm thinking of Signet of Wrath. It's an 8 second MO on an 18 second cooldown. I could pro You could probably do warg on Firebrand. You use Signet of Wrath, and then you just, like, you know, pump. But I think the bigger issue is that you're, like, also supposed to give quickness to your group, and you can't do that if you're doing back warg. I think is probably, like, why you don't do that. I'm just guessing. The fuck is this? This is raids next, yeah. I was told that uh, to become a more complete and holistic world versus world player, I should strive to excel in all game modes, except for PvP, because PvP is toxic, <laughs> and I don't want to do it. So that's why we're doing uh, we're doing raids. We're honing our skills. And then we're going to come back into world versus world, and when my commander says dodge, I'm going to think, oh, like, on... Um, well, hang on, what's the mechanic that you have to dodge on in a raid? Um, when I... Okay, here it is, here it is, right? When I see an enemy group approach me, I imagine that I have a large bomb on me in Sabatha, and I must get out of the group, so I dodge, and I run away from my commander. Because that's where danger is. And then I go back to my commander after the bomb detonates. Because I'm a good player. That's what we'll say. Hey, really, you can like you can learn a lot from fighting world versus world by doing raid bosses. It is extremely worth it to use primers for decade stuff, yeah. Maybe not for the food if you're on like a world versus world account, but the decade enhancement station is really, really good. I don't have primers on this account, so I'm not going to be doing that. Also, I do a lot of PvE on this account, and it would just kind of be wasted. The serious answer, by the way, Naxia, is that uh, my static does raids on raids and strikes on thursday and sometimes i stream it depends on how i'm feeling for this one i'm kind of curious to look at the vod later and see like what i'm actually looking at when i'm doing pve because i just think the eye tracker is really neat and i want to see what i can learn from it protect me i'm about to try something what are you doing Getting us i'm place. ready Oh no, I fell. Safe. Yumi knows. Yumi knows where the good spot is. I can even just like precast quickness here. Where's my stab? These are proximity Aegis the bomb? I don't know what that means. This? I could do like this. Are you talking about the mines? I'm terrified of the mines. I'm not gonna try and Aegis a mine. Oh, at the gate. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got you. I got there. I realized before I read it. I want to be on mine duty, but it looks sketchy up there. So I'm just going to chill. Don't try to aegis the mine. It's too late. You've already put the thought in my head. I'm going to do it. Just stab Aegis up. What's it going to do? Kill me through unbroken lines? Doubtful. You have any idea how much damage reduction 300 toughness is? I'm too powerful to be defeated by a mine. No, that's coward strats.
get over here. We don't, like, really need to quickness here, but I should make sure that I'm, like, remembering to press my buttons. Okay, do it then? I will, in a second. Just, <laughs> just wait a minute, I'll do it. When I find a good opportunity. Now I'm not, like, scared or whatever. You're scared. He's greeting. He's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stabs up, pushing to our down. Oh, they're up, never mind. See, like that? That's world versus world practice right there. You see it down, you stab up before you res it so you don't get interrupted. Those are the kind of things that you, like, aren't gonna learn. Just, like, if you only do world versus world. I'm not taking that. I'm staying down here with my friends. Excuse me? Oh, that was a mine, I think. Someone run the eye tracker back? Let me know if that was a mine right there. Let's go check the VOD. <laughs> Hang on, I'm checking the VOD. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just checking the VOD quick to see what happened. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We'll, we'll figure that out. I just want to watch my own VOD. Oh, here we go. Was it a mine? They killed that one. I said, I don't want to take the portal. Oh, no, it was. Oh, no. It was a mine. Yeah, I just walked into a mine. Okay, so it just doesn't work. If you were curious... You're back, yeah. We we tested the Aegis theory. The Aegis theory does not work. We're gonna watch the rest of the group succeed now. I looked right at it too. I looked at it, but I didn't realize what it was. It's just a classic mind blunder. Yeah, but look. Here's the thing, okay? Like, when Isaac Newton invented gravity, he wasn't like, hey, I've got this really neat theory, you guys should check it out. He went out in his backyard and dropped, like, you know, an apple on his head, or whatever. A theory is only as good as the evidence that supports it. And now we have, like, really good evidence that uh, it does not work. But previously, that was just a theory. Now we have knowledge. That's the thing about hypotheses, man. You gotta test them. Anyway, they look like they're doing great. They don't need me here. Wargs are fine. Yeah, wargs are fine. They're a little close to Glenna. I think they're fine. It's not moving anymore. I think they're fine. This warg is, like, booking it, though. So he's got that tower, this tower, and then we're set. Actually, I think they're done with that tower. I think they've just got this tower left. Dude, this warg is, like, making good time. Nah, he'll be fine. Yeah, he did. If 10 gig of data already... Are you watch, watching, like, 140p? You can make it out between the pixels. You can infer what's happening.
One single, whatever. I I said what I said. Okay, they've successfully completed it. Now, could I please leave? And by leave, I mean live. No, they have to kill McLeod too. This sucks. <laughs> Get up your earth. Please hurry. Alright, from now on, after this point, I promise you, we will not step on another mine tonight in this wing. You have my solemn vow. We will not be mined again. I'll be fine. I'm almost there. Gonna hit him with a... No, I'm not gonna hit him with a... You should stack healing power. That would be rude and also wrong. Broth. I don't think quickness affects res speed, right? Let's test a second theory. It does not. <laughs> okay, he's up. Got a little too excited there at the end. It does? No way. It didn't look like it did. It didn't feel like it was doing anything. Also, let's see. Do I have swiftness anywhere in here? Region, protection, ages. This is the other skill that gave protection that I was trying to think of. It's not two, it's four. Unless that's a competitive split. Does shield four give protection in World v. World? I feel like maybe it does. But I could also be wrong. Alright, we've done it. I helped. A lot. I refuse to Aegis this bomb. I made a solemn vow. Wait, what was that? Weird. Don't have the skin though. Whatever it is you're doing here, it's not going to work. Lazarus will lead the White Mantle to rule a new Krita, and there's nothing we can do to stop his return. So why is my damage meter only five people? You should really be like ten. There we go. Do I need to eat? No, I have two hours. And I ate decade food. Fat dragon. No, come back. I love the fat dragon. <laughs> there we go. That was the camera angle. Was no, come back! Anyway. Group to group one support circle. I must be heart. Okay. We go heart for the split. Uh, what do I need here? I don't think I need anything here. I think I can just roll Mantra of Flame for extra damage. We don't need stab. We don't need retreat. We don't need CC. We, we don't need CC. I, I trust other people in the group to be able to CC. We have two Reapers. That's a bunch of Flesh Golems and Greatsword Fives and Shroud Fives and Fears, and they'll take care of it.
Now that one's on me. I think. I'll probably be fine. I'm fine. See, he's gone. I got a heart. I roll quickness for my friends. I'm fixated. I'm going to arrow. He did. Boss back. Orb time. I fucking love orb time. I think this might be my favorite mechanic of any boss. Is that true? Yeah, I think that's true. I just fucking love orbs. You guys like touching balls or just me? Is that just like a me thing? Oh, get away. These are mine. What the hell? You got three white players over here? Fine, I'll go back this way. Intercepted. Oh. Here, I have quickness. Okay, so far so good. Keep rolling quickness for people. Stab. It's probably late, but I think someone else took care of it. Die, Olsen. Alright, he's like mostly dead. We go to heart again. Oh, shit. He's huge. Is that supposed to happen? I don't think I've seen an Insidious projection before. Am I getting experienced gamers to comment on the existence of an insidious projection? We're GGing? I, oh, we have two insidious? <laughs> okay. I don't know what those do, but they seem bad. I don't think I've ever wiped on Keep Construct before. Very interesting. All right, we go again. I mean, not like literally right now. We're waiting for everyone to get here. But once everyone's here, we go again. Yes, I'm ready. I was born ready. Fat dragon. Such a good boy.
We need to cleave this thing down. Make sure we're getting quickness. Stump a bit of CC. Off it goes. We got a heart. We kill you. Probably. We kill you. We kill you next? Is that what your statue lighting up means? I'm gonna say yes. Okay, Construct is back. Boon up our friends. Orbs? I think here seems fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Okay, two out of three isn't that bad. But that that situation was fucked up. Get sniped. <laughs> I love orbs. I know I'm doing I know that you don't need to go that far out, but it's fun, so you can't stop me. Should probably like quickness people instead of just front loading condies on everyone. CC, we go to heart again. You die. You die. Boss is back. That seems early. You need to get pulled through the boss. I need to be back a little bit. I'm in the danger ring. See here. Rezing Yumi. Cores up, we go to heart. I can help with this. I know how to heal. I did it. Okay, you we can kill. I don't know why I thought you were the Construct Core for a minute. Yumi has blundered it again. Oh, he's immune. This is orb phase. I know what I'm doing. It's a lot of white on this side. I'll go to the other side. There's no... Okay, I, that I just completely missed. That's fair. I don't see anyone getting you. I'll take it. Speed a little 
far enough away that you can still get in, like, axe range, but you're not taking condies. When he jumps, give people stab, because when he lands, he knocks people down. I'm learning. That one? I don't know what that one was all about. CC here. I'm taking Torment. I need to move. We're fine. We go to heart. We hope that Yumi hits more than one rift. I think is how this works. I don't actually know. <laughs> it's real close. It looks like he got a couple that time. That should be that. That is indeed that. Alright. A little messy the first time, but at least we got there. And now to die a bunch of time in Twisted Keep. Still have no idea how it works in here. Yes, I'm ready. And by ready, I mean I'm just gonna like disenchant some stuff really quick. And by disenchant, I mean salvage. Okay. In we go. We go through here, we go through here. We almost get punted off the edge twice. And then we go through here. And then we come up to here and we jump down. As soon as we're out of combat anyway. Or we could just take the portal. That's fine, too. Hello? Oh, there's a haunting statue. Okay, fair. That's fine. I know how to do it again. We go like this. And then we go like this. And then we take this one. Yes. Good. And then we heal... Because we're kind of hurting. And then we drop, like, here. Perfect. And then where do we go? Over here, maybe? What you doing over there? Like, what's all, what's all this about? Okay, now what? Oh, now do we go through the portal again? Ah. I've never been up here before. Oh, no. I don't think I got seen by you. I disagree with that. 
personally. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, no, it's... it's you? It's... it's you. It's not you. <laughs> uh, now what? I guess we go back to the start. It's you. I would really love to get rid of that torment. It's you. It's not you. It's you. It's you! And then it's that door, but I'm extremely hurt. <laughs> I didn't think the 10 stacks of torment ticked that hard. Oh, what's up here? I've never been up here before. The heck is this? Oh, there's a box here! Ecto? No. Alright, we should probably go to the boss then. Which is, uh... Eh, we'll just do this. There we go. That's a faster way to do that. Who wants to die first? I'm going to take close button. Close button is mine. Yumi, where did you go? Oh, okay. Your life is mine. It's got a nice place. That's for sure. Pillar's looking a bit busted, though. How does it feel to make it so far, only to fail? All right, we are close, button. Just remember, close, close, Bhutan. Fight's just being explained, which is why we haven't started yet. I think there's a couple of people who are on the newer side of things tonight. So Yumi's just giving a rundown of the fight. It is nice to feel like we actually know what we're doing in raids, though. I am ready. Who wants to die first? Everyone is ready. I'm so tempted to just hit the boss. Yeah, this person's on the wrong side. There we go. Who wants to? Who wants to? All right, who's pushing what conjectures? This one needs to go here. 
see it. You think I don't see it, but I see it. Oh no. Also, I was in the wrong weapon set. But we're good now. I am close. Three, two, one, on. I'll pull it, why not? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, off. On. I wish that I could do, like, more from here, but it's the way it is. Okay, there we go. That felt extremely slow. And I think of a lot of it had to do with the fact that, like, I can't damage from back there outside of just, like, using torch. But I suppose it is what it is. Murphy has ambient magic. That's fine, it's not me. Now, jumping puzzle. Alright, we have to kill this one first. This is the easy jump. This is also a pretty easy jump. This is also a pretty easy jump. back we go to the main platform. Okay, so far so good. Still plenty of opportunities to screw this fight up though. Got a little condi loaded, but we're fine. There's teleporting squad members still floating tower. I was not chosen. Very fortunate. Giant laser. I don't know about all that. Right there. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was the right call. 
This I can help, though. What's up, Exceed? Rough fights tonight? Who are you fighting? Go to middle, clear arrow. Okay, so like this one needs to die. And then like that one needs to die. Yeah, we're fine. Oh no. Now I have to do things. Never mind, it looks like everyone else has it handled. I'll just be ready to damage. Light it up. We did this. Here, you guys did good. Have quickness. Oh shit. <laughs> That's a lot going on. I need to cleanse those, personally. Let's move to the other side of this thing. Wish I had a couple more pages. Wish I had a couple more Condi cleanses. I need to CC that. I have ambient magic. I should be ready to do it. Dropping it. He's done it. We held the fate of the entire group in our hands there. And we came through. And then you just kill her. It's that easy. Boz and crew doing okay until they call in backup. That's when you call in your own backup. Call in your backup for their backup. Now there's a box over here that you can't grab posthumously. So I'm going to go eat that. It could have my, my fibers in it. Do you have my fibers in you? No. Well, fair enough. Grab Zara's chest. And we're done. Off to whatever wing we're doing next. How's inventory looking? Inventory's fine. Get rid of all this crap. Wing 4 next. I like Wing 4. Wing 4 is a good one. I'll open wing four, I haven't done it. Doing raids for armor, just the experience? Uh just with friends. This is uh, a couple people from K and T who do raids every week. I see someone's a bit impatient. Actually that's not true. It's a couple people from um Oh, what is uh what's the name of Knight's Guild? Night Owl? He's got like a world versus world guild, but then he's also in a PVE guild with a bunch of other the with a bunch of the other people on like his GVG crew. And then some of them and some of us from KNT do raids every Thursday. So it's just to like grab the LI, grab the currency, get a couple extra clovers every week. Catch up with friends, you know, that kind of stuff. What is the name of Knight's Guild? Why can't I remember it? Like, I was just listening to his Commander Talk Radio episode. But it's it's already empty. It's already left my mind. I 
I don't think we need anything fancy here. We don't need anything fancy here. We don't need anything fancy for Mursat Overlord. We need to bring Sanctuary for Samurag. And we need to bring Retreat for Deimos. But for these first two fights, this is just a, a normal DPS kit. DPS Quickness kit. What do I do to wind down after Tough World versus World Knights? Um, I'm just thinking back to like the last time we had a World versus World Knight that was tough. I, all of like, I think it was last week that we basically spent the entire week getting bodied by a CO. Um, I don't know. I don't think I really like when I'm not commanding. I don't really notice hard knights, because I just kind of enter my own mind palace, and I play my own game. And if other people are not playing great, then it's like, hey, you know, what can you do? I did everything that I could. So I, I leave with a with an empty mind. But tough knights when I've commanded, man, I usually... If, I have, if I'm commanding and I lost fights that I felt like I should have won... I will actually just stay up and look at footage and talk to other people from KNT like, oh, what do you think I could have done here? What do you think I could have done here? What could I have done better in this spot? Uh, you know, what if we had pushed differently in this spot? You know, would that have changed things? I actually have to, like, I have to go back and I re and rehash it and I have to look at it again so that I can figure out how I could have done it better next time. And then I just go and find some like truly mindless game to play for like 30 minutes and then go to bed. Is basically the gist of it. Like, what's the mindless game that I've been playing for Wind Down lately? Uh... Oh, uh, Captain of Industry is what I've been playing to just kind of like turn my mind off at the end of a night. But there's also, like, uh, Dave the Diver is a good one for turning your mind off. You just go catch fish. Super Auto Pets is a good one for turning your mind off. You just, you know, have cute animals fight against each other in a gladiatorial arena. Something that's just, like, kind of brainless helps me unwind and get my mind off of thinking about Guild Wars so that I can go and do other stuff with the rest of my evening. But that's really, like, only when I'm commanding. When I'm not commanding, when I'm just, like, a guy in squad, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm focused on my own thing. I actually struggle to think when we had difficult nights that I haven't commanded on, because I'm just, like, in my flow state on my profession. Alright, get out of that circle. Make sure you're closer to the boss than you, me. Take this green, and then we're off to the races. Just don't stand in teleporty circles. Like that one. And like that one. And I'm not sure if the eye tracker picks it up, but what I'm looking at here is I'm actually... Oh, no. What I'm looking at is uh, the screen effect on the side of the screen. You get, like, a yellow effect. I want this one. See that little, like, yellow effect that you get around the screen? You're just looking for that. Like that one. Uh, let's tank this one. Oh, no, I took one. I'm at heart now. Mm -hmm. I definitely meant to, for sure. A hundred percent meant to take that. I wasn't just like dodging a teleport or whatever. <laughs> uh, I can self stab this, and then I don't want to get teleported, so let's just walk out of that. What's my main class? I honestly don't think I have one anymore. 
My main class changes every month. Because it just kind of depends on what I need to play at the... At any given moment. So, like, this month, I think my main class has been Berserker. But it's complicated, because, like, I, I command every Friday, so my main class is, you know, Commander. Uh, I'm Firebrand... Ooh, fancy. I am uh, commanding every Friday, so my main class is Spellbreaker, which is, like, not even really a class anymore. And then on Tuesday, I kind of just, like, play whatever the comp needs me to play. So sometimes I'm on, like, Support Tempest because we're short on healers. Sometimes I'm on Berserker because we only have, like, three Berserkers who showed up. And if neither of those things are true, then I'll usually play Necro because a lot of our Necros go to bed early. But it's it's the blessing and the curse of being able to play a lot of different classes effectively is... Rather than getting to decide, like, what your main class is, a lot of times you're just kind of told what you're playing that night in order to make the squad work. It's part of the reason why there's been such a a pronounced slowdown on the number of build videos that I'm doing on the YouTube channel. is because I just don't have nearly as many opportunities to record footage anymore. Between commanding and being Commander Firebrand on Wednesdays, that leaves me one day a week with KNT when I get to play, like, any build that's a bit different, and that's if they don't need me to play anything else, so if I want to record like random stuff, it's usually got to be Saturday, Sunday when hate raids, but they can't always find content, so it's been a lot harder to get footage these days. Which is not like a bad thing, it means I get to collect more stuff for Commander Camp, which I'm honestly like even more interested in doing than build videos at this point, but I do want to try and balance both and get footage for both. Especially because I've never actually done the Berserker rotation video. We oh, we're starting. Okay. Uh, and also because the Mesmer video is still technically out of date. I don't like either of those things being true, and I want to resolve them. But it's a question of finding the time to do it. You think you should do that, Phil, for what your commander needs? Um, if you have the ability... I, as a commander, I find it really helpful, because, like, I don't know how strictly you guys comp, but KNT comps relatively strictly. There are specific roles that we kind of expect to be there, like, we expect to have two to three uh, Reapers every single night. And when you only have, like, one Reaper, and you build your comp around having three Reapers, you when you call a bomb, you can tell. You can tell 100% that you only have one set of wells going down. And it, it changes the way that you have to command those fights. I don't strictly want to say that it makes your group worse, because I don't think that's necessarily true. It just it makes you have to adapt on the fly to what people brought any given night, instead of just like commanding for the squad that you wanted to have built in the first place. So people who are able to multi-class, in my eyes, are really, really valuable. And also, like, I think it's just good to know more classes. Like, I'm not the world's greatest Firebrand, but I've played Firebrand enough to know roughly how my stability cooldowns work, and because I know roughly how my stability cooldowns work on Firebrand, when I'm commanding on Spellbreaker, I still have that understanding. So I know, like... All right, Firebrands would have used Stand Your Ground for this push. They would have used Indomitable Courage for this push. The only thing I have left right now is Hallowed Ground, so I need to be really careful with how aggressively I push for, like, the next five seconds because I know that Stand Your Ground has, like, a five-second cooldown still. I think that knowing how to play multiple classes makes you a better world versus world player, even if you have, like, a main profession, quote-unquote. also makes it a lot easier to tell when enemies are using skills. Like, I can tell you, because I've spent so much time on Necro, for like the first three years I played World vs. World, I was a Necro main. And then I started multi-classing. But I can still tell you exactly what Spinal Shivers and Devouring Darkness sound like when they're being cast on me. <laughs> so, 
like we'll be running around open field. I'll hear a spinal shivers go off on me and I will dodge reflexively because I'm pretty sure that there's going to be like an axe two follow up behind it, or there's going to be like, you know, a great sword five pull behind it or something like that. If the other necro is like, you know, good and paying attention and knows what they're doing. Cause you strip the boons and then you go for the pull. So I think it makes you better. I don't think there's really a good reason to not multi-class, let's say. Hmm. Oh, I need to bring Sanctuary for this. Uh, hopefully we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm just going to hold my X3 in that case. Yeah, for just that occasion. Oh, he's got a lot of break bar. Ah, we'll be fine. Saving our X3. Having a lot of trouble CCs and getting pulled. Against Boz? I don't think Boz really does anything super fancy. So, my first thought is, you know, going towards uh, whether your firebrands are, like, overlapping their stability or not. Do you or does anyone else run Know Thy Enemy? They could have been running some kind of, like, you know, weird CC comp. And if that's the case, then, you know, maybe you were just getting out CC'd by a group that was built to melee cleave. It's DH and Reapers. DH? <laughs> They're still running DH? Hey, there's, it's not like there's anything wrong with it. I think Berserker is just like better in virtually every way. Yeah, I, it's, it's just going to be stab and making sure you don't overlap it, which is the big thing. It's something that I've been trying to work on recently for my own Firebrand play, is making sure that, like, if Ruthless calls, hey, we're pushing, I. I'm trying to not reflexively hit stability, I'm trying to take the tiniest glance at my party UI and know if I actually need to use it, or if like a warrior just dropped Banner of Tactics, I can skip it. Because if you can extract even like an extra second or two out of your stability, rather than like double casting it and giving someone 15 stacks when they don't need 15 stacks... Oh, it's me, sorry. It uh, was not displaying for some reason. I have it off. Or on. I mean, I saw, like, the dome on me. I didn't see any of the circles, so I can identify it. I was just not used to seeing it that way. Yeah, like, I have it again. Yeah, there's no ring. That's weird. Anyway, I can still work with it. Also, I double cast my mantras because I was busy getting confused about boss mechanics. We should probably fix that. There we go. Here, have quickness. The only way you're going to know that for sure, though, is uh, a VOD review. It's the only way you're going to see if Firebrands are using their stab effectively. It's one of the few things that you can't review in a log. It's just really hard to know unless you actually look at their perspective, and nobody, not nobody, most people don't record, unfortunately. 
It's one of the most valuable things you can do for yourself. But very few people do it. I record every single run. Every time we play World vs. World, I record. And then after we're done, I was actually working on this this afternoon. So I'll record the entire run, all three hours. Or, you know, like two hours if we tag down early. After we're done, I open the file up. And... Jeez, my allies wisely. Alright. After we're done, I'll then open that whole file up. And I'll clip it down so it's just the fights. And then I dump the fights on a 10 terabyte external drive that I've got. So that they're, like, saved for posterity. And then anytime I need any clip for anything, if I'm like, hey, I need, you know, in this video, a clip of, like, me on Berserker would go super nicely here. I can just go and, like, get a clip from two months ago that we had in, like, a random raid. But then after that clipping process is done, I, I'll then go back and delete the full video. Because I record in, like, semi-lossless. I record in, like, CQP20. And uh, each video is, like, 40 gigs per hour. <laughs> so it's not feasible to save the entire video. It took a long time at the start, but I've, I've since kind of, like, worked out the process. I've got it... I think about as streamlined as it'll go at this point. It takes me about 15 minutes to clip down a three hour video. So it is like, it's a bit of extra time and it's a bit annoying, but the upshot is that I've got so much footage that I can work with when I'm doing uh, video editing on the back end. And then the recent addition I made, uh, for clipping, no. For clipping, I use a program called Avi Demux, which is literally all it does is trim video files. That's it. It's an extremely, extremely basic interface. It only trims around, like, keyframes. You can't get down to, like, frame-by-frame -frame selection like DaVinci does. Um, but it's, it's super fast if you just need to clip. And then once the clips exist, those are the clips that I import into DaVinci. So when I make a video in DaVinci, rather than bringing in like a three-hour video and finding the minute and a half in that three-hour video where I was like, yeah, this is the fight I want, I'll bring in like a two-minute clip and I'll shave it down to like a minute 35. And it works like well enough, I would say. I'm not saying that my process is the best in the world, but it's definitely a process that minimizes the amount of time that I have to take on procedural aspects of doing content creation, and I can focus on, like, visual and presentation aspects with that saved time. So yeah, I'm, I'm OBS for recording, I'm DaVinci for, or I'm, I'm OBS for recording, I'm Avi Demux for clipping, and then I'm DaVinci for editing, and I'm GIMP for thumbnails. It's as free and as open source a pipeline as I can construct with available software tools. It's all free, and I'm pretty sure it's all open source except for DaVinci. But I, show me a video editor that's open source, honestly. That's that powerful. I don't think... Oh, I forgot to take Aegis! That's fine. I can use a Courage 5. <laughs> it's, it's very suboptimal, but... It'll work. I'm gonna stack Condies on you. And I'm gonna leave. You're so low. Uh, we might get that one to tick. Okay, we got one of them. Oh, everyone's dead. What the hell happened? What happened to you guys up there? Hello? <laughs> Did you... Did you have an accident? Hey, it's fine with me. I forgot to put retreat on, so I can do that now.
Wait, you can die on the up phase of this fight before Deimos spawns? What even happens up there? <laughs> Did you fall? <laughs> I have no idea what happened to him. Anyway, he doesn't want to talk about it apparently, which is <laughs> <Just> understandable. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck up there. <laughs> Alright, get out of the way of that. Have I heard of KD and Live? I have not heard of KD and Live, no. Okay. Done? We got two chains. Two chains! We got three chains. I don't know of a rapper named Three Chains. This is it 90s? Oh no, they reset. Never mind. Alright, that one's gone. <laughs> it's a little sketchy. Alrighty. Let's let's get under control. Just calm gameplay only. I'm in the ward. I'm so inside that ward. We're gonna look into doing something similar, record the whole run. Yeah, if you have the hard drive space for it, it's definitely the approach, oh no, that I recommend. Just because you don't know what's going to wind up later. Like, if you're ex if you're extremely disciplined and you're, like, really good with shadow play and remember to start and stop it all the time, then yeah, go for it, but I'm not. I would forget to start and stop shadow play all the time. I mean, OBS even has a pause feature, and I just, like, don't use it. Good cleave, good cleave, good cleave. It's triggered. Nice. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. That's bad. Someone dodged off. Da Vinci charges for hardware acceleration? I don't... I know that Da Vinci has, like... I can't get to the ward. I know that Da Vinci has a paid tier... I don't know what you mean by paid for hard uh, for pay hardware acceleration, though. You mean like in the in the render queue? Because I just let it render and then I go make a snack and come back ten minutes later. down. GPU? Yeah, but like, GPU for what? Oh, render, I see, okay. I, so it just like makes it take less time? Because it's already like, pretty quick. Hey, we did it, alright. I don't know, I'm fine with DaVinci charging money. It's an incredibly powerful piece of software that they've constructed. What they give you for free, you mean, for uh, free, is still like a lot of program. I'll go down. Yes. 
Okay, Saul's going back up. Ward. We should kill Saul first. There we go. Just don't step in the oil. That's all I ask. I'll take a look at uh, Katie in live though. Or maybe K Den live. I don't know. I'll I'll take a look at what you recommended. It's unlikely I'll switch to it because I've spent a lot of time learning how Da Vinci works, but I'll look at it. here. Should probably kill that. I can Aegis that. Never mind. I'll just get knocked back. Alright, that pride's gonna die. That pride is not long for this world. Oil. Aegis. Going down. Starting on Katie. I mean, I don't think there's going to be like a best software. I think it's just whatever you know the best. Oh shit, that's a bad oil. <laughs> Holy. Sh Holy. <laughs> safe, safe, safe. Uh oh. No, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I thought I triggered that oil. Okay, phased. We're good. They just. It just ages mind crush. I look. I've been agesing it. I still get hit. I don't understand. Make it make sense. I've been doing everything you said. I followed all the rules. I see pizza. I hit ages. Can't even order a damn pizza anymore. Just think about Demos. But his ass still mind crushes me. Stop standing in two parts of the pizza? Listen, that was part of the original instructions. <laughs> you didn't specify that part specifically, that I had to only stand in one slice of pizza. But now that you mention it, it makes a lot of sense. I'll stop standing in two slices of pizza at the same time. This all Cutscene? I don't care. You can watch it on YouTube. Wing one. Wing one. I'm going to open wing one. It's really just to get my threads. Also because I don't want to fight Sloth. Each slice. The fight's over. <laughs> the phase is done. <laughs> Gotta reinforce my armor, hang on. It matters. Mine crushes when Saul puts the dome up? No, what what the what the hell's pizza? Also, you missed two very you missed very two very cursed Deimos attempts. 
Oh, unless you were watching the second attempt where we popped the oil in mid and ate 99% of the platform. Then you might have been there for at least one of the two very cursed Deimos attempts. The other one, I still haven't found out what exactly happened. All I know is I went down to do chains, and then Yumi said, oh, fuck, GG. And I came back up, and he was dead. I think he fell off the platform. He didn't want to talk about it, though. I'm not sure what exactly happened there. Yeah, 9 of 10, you want in? You back from work? Probably got smashed off the platform. I think he got smashed off the platform and then he was too ashamed to talk about it. Which, like, I wouldn't talk about it either if it was me. Let's be clear. I, it just entered LFG, so you better hurry. It's it's closed. Don't strain your colon too hard, we filled. Remember, I'm not allowed to use X3 on any of these. At all. Yeah, you're not going to make it. It's okay. I think we dawdled too long earlier tonight, and we're probably not going to have time to do Wing 2. But we'll see. This is the one I really don't want to use X3 on. Because every time I pull these orbs into the boss, I get yelled at or whatever. Also, I do not need Aegis here anymore. That can be like Mantra of Flame. Demos Doom Q1. Yeah, you missed the Demos opportunity, unfortunately. But it's all good. It's not like that hard to pug, I'm sure. Alright, so we swap this. You become Mantra Flame. We don't need Aegis here. We don't need Stab here. It's not that fancy. Also, couldn't you just hop in one of Power's like Doom CM runs that he does like four times a week? to get your kill. I've been doing it for a few months. I wouldn't know I muted that Discord. I just figured that he was going to do it forever with the way he collects weird stuff in the game like, you know, furniture tokens and sab. You can pre-stack quickness. Do not get teleported. And do not pull here. You're not allowed to touch X3. Unless it's life or death. Okay, I wanted to right there. Oh no, don't get ported. Okay, we're good. Maybe Doom CM is bored him faster? Eh, as long as he's just like, you know, bored and he's found something else to do with his time. That's fine. Don't get teleported. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go to blue. Okay, we got there.
Alright, blue is... I can CC here. Blue's dead. Don't get teleported. Kill green. This is pullable. There are no enemies here. Red is done. Okay. Reapply quickness. Head back to our hiding spot. Use all of it? Okay. Oh, that's a bad pull. <laughs> That's not me, that's not me. Like this? Like you actually just use it? That's crazy. Oh no, my ass. Okay, sure. Uh, what's up, Anthe? I can't, like, really look right now. It's a little busy, but I'll get to that in a second. I have to kill this spooky ghost man. This is a free green. I can take this. I can pull here. It's a safe pull. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just checking out the new, uh... Welcome, Anthe Raiders, first of all. Hello, welcome. We are, uh, we're performing alternative forms of world versus world practice in an effort to, uh, oh shit, <laughs> in an effort to further deepen our skill set in the game mode. For example, that was a, a simulation of uh, dodging necro shades or something, in many ways. And as you can see, we did it successfully, which is very positive for us. It's a positive outcome. Oh, thanks, Ruthless. Very kind of you. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. We're good. See, it's that easy. Raids are so easy. People should, like, do raids more. It's just free stuff. Okay, let me let me scroll up quick here. Power DH. Yeah, I would say so. No, it's a uh, Selly Condi Quick Firebrand. I think is all the words of the class that I'm playing. Welcome Suka. Welcome Skis again. Welcome Anthe. Welcome Ruthless. You were here already. That doesn't count. Welcome Anthe uh, four times in a row. Welcome skis again. Welcome ruthless. Welcome skis again. Uh, <laughs> wait, hold the fuck up. Hang on, <laughs> Sally. Yeah, it's like the only gear that I have. You got to remember that this is a world versus world account, and as such, it has uh, extremely limited gearing potential. Also, I'm very lazy. I don't really know where I'm going on this one. I could pull those, though. But yeah, this is PvE. We are running PvE with Yumi, and that's the only other person you're going to recognize if you're a KNT regular. This is, um, it's like a quarter KNT. And then it's like three quarters, a bunch of people who hang out in like uh, Night Owls community here and there. Sometimes Loth comes as well, if you know Loth. You guys know Loth? Noted commander party uh, support Tempest? He's in here sometimes. He's not in here tonight because he's probably like cooking or whatever. But. Wait, where's the next ring? Oh, here it is. Where does this go? <laughs> Not anywhere useful. Hang on, I'll come back. Where are we going now? We're still here. 
We're still chilling. You hang out all the time. I've never seen you in our static. It's very, it's very curious. Also, I'm sure that my skill usage here is absolutely horrendous. But in my defense, there's a lot going on. I'm supposed to use every charge of Mantra of Flame. Let's try and remember that and work that. God, it's just so many buttons. <laughs> oh, I can do this one. I'm doing it. I'm helping. Good pull, Chef. Oh, thank you. You're too kind. Chef, where's my stab? Oh, it's it's coming. Don't worry about all that. Where are you going? Curious. <laughs> it's very far away from... Oh, we're done. Never mind. It's fine. Yeah, you know, when I said that I liked Wing 1, I might have forgotten that that part existed. The other part that I might have forgotten existed is this part where we stack behind a pillar for 30 seconds. I think I'm coming around on your take, which is that you don't like Wing 1. I think I also don't like Wing 1. I think what I do like is poles, though. Yeah, I don't actually enjoy it anymore. I hate Wing One now. <laughs> I don't like the look you can waste a bunch of gold so you can get provisioner tokens. Here's the other thing, Skis. It's not a raid static, but KNT does uh, strikes every Thursday at 9 p.m. as like an actual guild thing. So it's not going to give you the provisioner tokens. It's not going to give you the. Uh, the LI, it's not going to give you any of that kind of stuff, but it is like, you know, 35 minutes to gamble on a Gen 3 Precursor. I'd highly recommend that. And if you want to get in on that, there is a, uh, a PVE role that you can assign yourself somewhere in the KNT Discord. So track that down, give yourself the role, and then you'll get access to where those pings come from. take this barrier down quick and then just don't frick up the log jump I don't know what knocked me down but I'm not going to let it happen again just do raid CMs <laughs> just purchase raid CMs for it Waiting on portal. Taking portal. Use all your flame mantra charges. I mean, you're not wrong. It is obviously the most optimal way to get them. You can't you can't argue with double LI. There's no other factors. Alright, we go to the jumping puzzle. We have not made the jumping puzzle in, I want to say, like two months, but this time, I believe. We're empowered by anti raiders. We can succeed. We cannot succeed. I think you might actually have to use that mushroom to the right. I swear I've done that straight jump before. But it really has not served as well recently. Well, let's let's try it. Okay, it is actually like way easier that way. We'll start doing that from that way from now on. <laughs> I did not think it was that much easier to just do the one on the right side. Loot finder completed. Good, done, good. Gorsival, we don't need anything fancy. 
We can maintain DPS. We just use Courage 5 for stab when he does the stomp. Don't want to jump into raids with that XP? It's it's really not that bad. Um, if you're short on time, the guide series that I, I had Yumi explain all the fights to me because uh, I enjoy being carried through content by people who are smarter than I am. But if you don't want to do that approach, uh, Muckluck has a really, really good series of guides called uh, Get to the Point, where he covers all of the different raid bosses like in an, an extremely concise format that's just here's only the things that you need to know and nothing else. So I would suggest those. His get to the point videos are very, very good. Oh yeah, I need to stab that. I forgot. That's my bad. You gotta remember, after he does the pound, then you just pop your stab. Charge soul. Kill you. Recharge your mantra flame on the walk. Now, do I stab immediately when the shield comes down? I think yes, is the answer to that question. I'm not going to look at chat. I don't want to spoil myself. I believe the answer is yes. You courage five immediately when this phase starts. And he's right. He's so good at raids. You wouldn't think he was a world versus world main. I mean, maybe you would, because I'm sure there's a lot of other play going on here that's like extremely suboptimal, but... Again, this is practice for world v world, okay? So that phase is like, oh, they're empowering. And then this phase is like, oh, they're pushing, stabs up. So you stabs up. And then they drop gravels on you and you're like, ah, just kidding. I've got a stab. Stupid. I'm telling you, there's a lot of crossover between game modes. Who am I trying to convince? Myself, mostly. I'd say, like, 95% myself. And maybe, like, 5% other people. <laughs> Stab. I think we missed it. Eggs? Dodge? Because otherwise, like, if I'm just, like, wasting my time right now on raids to get, like, gold or whatever, a currency that has no use in World vs. World, I might as well just go play World vs. World. But I'm, oh no, but I'm not, so, like, surely there has to be some good use of my time in here. Hello. You good? You need anything? Okay. No. Yes. No. Are you guys done at Bully's Raid already, Anthony? Is that why you're here? I just realized he tags on Thursdays. Did he tag down early? How bad's the EBG queue right now? There's not a queue for EBG. There's no way that Bully's done right now. His favorite map of all time is open. No content? What do you mean no content? EBG's open. <laughs> There's always content in the EBG mine. No content on EVG? Is such a thing even possible? He broke everything? Oh, okay. So it's not that there was no content. It's that he was uh, not sustainably fishing the content that existed. Also, he took SMC way too early. That's a rookie mistake. Everyone knows you gotta, like, pretend that you can't take SMC for 45 minutes before you actually do it.
Kill you. That should be about that. Yeah. Are you aggroed? No, you're fine. Captured SMC and they fled. Who's, uh, they? Who did you have to, to take SMC from? Was it just, like, randoms, or was there an actual group out? Coin or Pugs or anyone like that? Indo? Indo actually did a, um... Before I started streaming raids, which would have been, like, 11, uh... He was in EBG doing Commander Talk Radio with Molasses, which was <laughs> uh, just a, a fascinating listen, honestly. To to get the perspective of a of a commander like Molasses was very very interesting. But I don't. I'm assuming that he was doing that on NSP, but maybe not. Or maybe like he finished Commander Talk Radio and then he tagged down, right? His bully tagged up. Unclear. But they're in our matchup right now, or at least they should be. Avoid the flame wall. It's just it's so many buttons, man. It's not that I don't like Condi Quick Brand, it's that it's a lot of buttons. And that part is, like, not my favorite thing. I still think I like it more than DPS Scourge. Uh-oh, that's bad. <laughs> I still think I like it more than DPS Scourge, but uh, I think I like a lot of things more than DPS Scourge, and I think it'd rather just be, like, Power Spellbreaker or something. Maybe that's something I should gear up on this account so I can be like, Oh, sorry, I don't have that Condi Quick Brand anymore. I can only bring support spell or uh, DPS spellbreaker, and I am going to full counter every mechanic. Flame wall, that's neat. Full counter. Mortar mouth, stupid little wave on Harvest Temple. Yeah, full counter. Prime artist chomp. Believe it or not, full counter. Not the big one. The big one will still kill you. The small ones, though, you can full counter those. I think. Citation might be needed on that one. I think I remember doing it, but it's been a long time since I played Power Spellbreaker and Strikes. Alright, this is CC Boy. We've done everything we can here. That's a that's a big AoE. Okay, he's dead. I feel like I'm cutting it a little close on that flame wall, but I haven't been punished for it yet. There's one more phase at 25. We got time to stack up a couple condies still. Let's get a little purge down. Sabbath has shadow stuff to her bomb piles? I don't know about that. I think she's, like, right here. And she's still taking damage, too. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> See ya. I need a quickness after this. There we go.
Here she is. Here's Flame Wall. Card is dead. Then we just circle. This platform is kind of fricked up right now. Health is fine? Health's totally fine. I don't know why it looks so chaotic in here right now. I guess all these turrets. I have a bomb, who cares? We're just burning. There we go. Spirit Veil Silent. So I'm pretty sure that's where this group is going to be done, but let's find out. Usually they only run until like 1 a.m. So we didn't have a chance to do Wing 2, I think it is. Is that the one with uh, Matthias and Slothasaur and all that stuff? I think they're probably just done, but we'll find out. Yeah, it sounds like they're done. So, uh, here's the deal. I hope you've enjoyed your uh, your bit of entertainment that I was able to give you, Anthe Raiders. Tomorrow is going to be uh, Commanding for Reset, which I believe Anthe normally streams. So, you'll get to see uh, her perspective over on her channel. I will be commanding that group more than likely, unless she's got plans to reset that I don't know about. And then uh, we'll see if we get some stuff done over the weekend. So, if you're new to the channel... The best way to figure out when we're streaming is to hop in the Discord. There are perms that you can opt into so that you only get the notifications for the stuff that you actually want to hear about. And then there's also the VODs channel if you want to check out some stuff that we've done in the past, either Guild Wars 2 related or otherwise. But that's where we're going to be done for tonight. I will see people back here at 10 p.m. Eastern, 10.05 p.m. Eastern, sometimes reset takes a bit. Uh, for some world versus world commanding, and then we'll see if we can get up to some uh, some non Guild Wars two mischief over the weekend. But till then, enjoy the rest of your Friday. Hope you have a good weekend, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.